Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm TJ, a strength training professional, and I coach busy professionals who don't really have a lot of time to exercise, but I show them that they can get the best results in 30 minutes to one hour a week, maximizing their effort in minimal time. If you want to find out more, go to my site, tjfitness.net, shoot me an email there. I'd be happy to answer any questions. We can talk about how I can work out a program for you if you're interested. So how in the world can exercise be so simple? You probably think, well, it takes hours and hours a week. It takes months or maybe a year to get in excellent shape, get the results I really want. And that's just not true. What matters is doing what is required of the body. And it really doesn't take a whole lot. So we start with one set to failure. Doing the one set to failure method founded by Arthur Jones and Ellington Darden years ago, they realized that doing one set all out, the muscle failure, and then moving on to the next set, working out the entire body in around eight, nine, 10 exercises was plenty sufficient to build muscle, stimulate the muscle, let it grow for a few days, and then come back and hit it hard again. The reason this works so well is because our bodies are not really designed to go, go, go all the time. Our mind is, our mind can do that quite a bit, but physically we have to allow maximum rest in order to maximize results. It's really just that simple. Going all out, getting all the work done in about 20, 30 minutes, taking several days off, going back, you will be stronger and stronger throughout each workout, each week, each month. I've proven it hundreds and hundreds of times throughout my career and with myself. What else is so simple is movement. The way we move is key. And the way you want to move during an exercise is roughly four to five seconds in general. You can move slower than that, but you don't want to move any faster than around four seconds. So slow and control. It makes it so effective because it doesn't put any stress on the joints. It puts all the stress on the muscle tissue where you want the stress anyway, okay? If you're just firing away bicep curls like that, you're firing off the joints well before the muscle is, okay? Yeah, the muscle's working, but you're not really having an effect and the desired effect on that muscle tissue until roughly the end of the exercise, say 15, 20, 25 reps, whatever that is, okay? So that's why you generally wanna lift a somewhat heavier weight and lift it slow and controlled so that that tension begins on the muscle tissue right away. It doesn't affect the joints at all, okay? Now, once you reach the end of a set of exercise, no matter what it is, you then you can begin moving a lot faster because the muscle is gonna be so tired, you're thinking I'm moving fast, but you're still going really slow. You're breathing more, you're giving all out effort, taking the muscle failure, put that weight down, move on to the next one. And let's also not forget what I talked about earlier, rest and recovery, because that is truly where the muscle is gonna grow. Rest, recovery, nutrition. You go right back in the next day and do the same thing or do, uh, let's say you did uh, a chest workout. You come in the next day and do a back workout. That chest is still going to be involved indirectly in whatever exercise you're doing and not allowing it to recover okay so that's why working the full body or you can do a split routine i like upper body one day lower body the next day say like sunday legs wednesday upper body and then uh, i'll do abdominals you know one set of abdominals both workouts that's been super effective for me as well both are very effective just really matters all that matters is which one you want to do all right, next, how can this be easy, okay? I'm not saying that it is, but it can be, all right? And it can be easy if you have the right mindset. The mindset goes like this. Let's say you wanna lose 50 pounds in about six months. That is a pretty daunting goal, and that can, that can put a lot of stress on your mind. If you really wanna get there, and you really wanna achieve that, that's great. But if you think about that long-term goal too much, too often, it will overwhelm you and then you'll get disappointed. You'll have days where you fall off the horse, as I like to say, you cheat on your diet, you ate junk or something, and then you might 
feel like, oh, well, who cares? I'm just going to give up. I don't know what I was thinking anyway. Mindset is so crucial. It's one day at a time, okay? Focusing on what you need to get done that day. And then when you get to the end of that day, say, hey, today was a great day. I did everything I could possibly do. I ate what I was supposed to eat. I drank as much water as I wanted to drink. I exercised or I rest whatever I needed. Tomorrow's another day to do even better. So it's one day at a time. Small little goals have to get you to that long-term goal. It's okay to keep that long-term goal in the back of the mind, but one day at a time, that first week is really the hardest because you might be just completely changing your routine and you don't really have to do that. You can slowly change it. Let's say you're somebody that used to wake up and eat donuts in the morning, fried chicken for lunch, and uh, pasta for dinner with a dessert, obviously, and alcohol. Obviously, that's not gonna be ideal. That's, uh, that's not what you wanna be eating if you wanna get results. But let's say you were there and you got motivated to change. You know, maybe change two of those meals, all right? Maybe make, uh, you know, add some sweets in there, but make them healthier sweets, dark chocolate after dinner, something like that. Minimize the alcohol, put alcohol to the weekends instead of maybe daily, if that was your deal. And that will amaze you how many calories you're cutting back on. And then the next week, maybe you cut something else out and keep on going, you see? There's nothing, you don't need to go from say, a 5,000 calorie diet if that's where you were, down to 1500 or 1200 or as low as a thousand that's pretty low but that is a significant decrease and your brain will be like whoa 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 whoa! what are you doing what are we doing here you're 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 throwing me off it's best to just say okay i'm going to train my brain this is what i'm going to start with and then maybe decrease it by a thousand calories week one another 500 to a thousand week two the slowly but surely progress will come your brain will start to understand, okay, I see what's going on here. The brain needs to be in charge of the body, okay? Let the brain, the mind be in charge of that. Then your stomach will literally shrink over and over, little by little, it takes time. But you gotta start slow, start small, and don't beat yourself up if you have a day where, like I said, fall off the horse, you cheat some on your diet, wake up the next day and say, hey, today's another day to get back on it. I'm gonna do it no matter what. If it takes an extra week, an extra month, if I hit that date and don't hit that number, so what? Am I really doing bad? No, I'm doing right by myself. I'm gonna be good to myself. So mindset is key. That's how it can be easy, okay? It can also be easy if you just wake up every day and say, this is easy. You write it down like I am right now at home on a piece of paper journal this is going to be easy now it'll seem crazy at first when you say to yourself this is going to be easy but if you keep telling yourself your, you know this quote every day throughout the day this is going to be easy it's not going to be hard it's going to be an easy challenge today's going to be easy sure getting there the six months Again, that's daunting. But the more you tell yourself, your mind, your, your, your subconscious mind and conscious mind will meet together like an alignment, okay? And I've been watching a lot of videos from uh, other channels that talk about subconscious with the conscious, manifestation, things like that. Same thing, you're trying to manifest a new body, a new look, a new feeling for yourself. And you have to put in the work to get there. But if you tell yourself things like this, Today's going to be a great day. Today's going to be easy. I'm going to be easy on myself. Eating the right foods is just going to come natural. It's going to be easy. The more you tell yourself that, I promise, it will be easy. And every day will get easier than the next, than the last break, excuse me. That's about as simple as I can make it. Simple and can be easy. One set, slow and controlled, all out to failure, full body workouts, take two, three, four days off between, you're gonna be set. Rest and recovery is key for the growth, okay? It might feel like you're growing during a workout, but that is not what's telling you, what should be telling you that you are growing and getting bigger and stronger, burning more fat. It takes time. And it can be easy if you got the right mindset and tell yourself, 
This is gonna be easy. I can do this. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Feel free to leave a comment, smash that like button. And if you like this video, watch the next one coming up and we'll see you on the next video, guys.